Hello everyone, it's the Architects here. Today I will show you very secret Easter eggs of ARCHICAD. What are Easter eggs? An Easter egg is a hidden feature, message or joke placed by developers or creators. For instance, in video games, a secret level, character or message. In softwares such as ARCHICAD, a hidden screen or animation or just a secret game. In movies such as Marvel films, it can be a subtle reference to another film or next episode, hidden symbols or jokes. With this short brief, let's dive into ARCHICAD and let's see together what are the hidden easter eggs of ARCHICAD. Let's start. First of all, you can play Tetris games in ARCHICAD. How you can do this? First, you will create the curtain wall or you don't have to create. You can just go to its settings by Ctrl plus T and here you can see in the skin menu, you can right click here and click surprise me. Now you can start playing Tetris by clicking arrows and you can see your score. and you can play like this. If you are done playing tennis, you can right click and click back to work. Because work doesn't wait, time is money. Second one is another game, which I don't know how to play, but I will show you anyway. To do it, you will go to the object menu and you will go to the 2D elements graphical symbols and you will just go to the revision history simple and if you change this row value to 4 you will see that 2048 game will appear by clicking this up right down and left you play this game but we cannot see because it's 3d if you go to plan view you will see the actual game I click this up and you can see maximum value is 8, now it's still 8 and actually I don't know how to play but you are just trying to score the highest score by calculating these values. After that when you finish you can go back to work. Other easter egg is under the stair solver, if we go to stair and create this stair, the shape is not important and once you try something impossible, you know ARCHICAD tells you and show you the stair solver, I will show you, there you go, as you can see the color is yellow, by double clicking this cannot create stair, the color will change. But the easter egg part is in the final, you will see the developer of the ARCHICAD. This is something very interesting. I will choose this green guy. And next one is something different. Do you know how to play Pong game in ARCHICAD? I will show you how. Now we will power over this guideline folder and after that in the keyboard we will just use P O and G at the same time. And now I'm not clicking anything, it starts to following my cursor and after that I will just select a corner and wait a custom circle helper just like this and it starts and show its numbers, it's now 3, 4, and etc etc. To finish it, you will just let it escape. That's it. And this was the point game. Next one is tracker landing game. To do it, you will go to wall tool and click somewhere on your floor plan and you will just hit A, switch to angle and you will just type in 1, 2, comma, 3, 4, 5 and hit A once again and wait. 
you will see this start in initial speed and altitude and it's starting to falling down this is something very interesting i think you can play it with the, your up down and left and right keys but i couldn't achieve it maybe you can do that let's move forward this time i will show you how to play rubik cube in archicad to do it we will go to object tool and go to settings we will go to basic cube to reach it you will go to the basic shapes it was under the the spatial constructions and basic shapes and we will select this cube once we select this we will change the parameter to 3000 millimeters and under the user defined one we will just type in here bigger or lower case are important rubik and test it you will see your rubik cube is ready and let's place it in the plan and we have this very wonderful interesting rubik cube actually i don't know how to play this in real game because it's very hard um, in the archicad you can just mix it up by clicking this to rotate the colors you will use this purple and links helpers and you will try to make the same color for per surface if you go to settings you can always click this reset and this was the ruby cube there is another interesting game we will go to object tool and we will go to the chairs and select this armchair 01 if we change these values over than 2 meters for instance 3 meters and if we place it on the floor plan we will see this tic tac tool game and you can play this game with your friend how to do it you will click this purple it's now cross and next one will place circle cross circle and the winner is player x as you can see playing a quick game while working on a design can be a great way to relieve stress during the day it's really enjoyable to see such creative touches in a powerful tool like archicad if we move forward in the 3d window you can switch to 3d view by clicking this map but first i want to place an item to see the scale something like this maybe a door and if you click this man you can start to traveling in your model and after that by clicking the f p s in your keyboard you will see a cursor and it's like a first person shooter game in archicad but unfortunately we cannot start firing with this cursor it's just a symbol all right next one is something about windows do you know you can place broken windows in archicad i will show you how we will go to window tool and if we place a simple window you will see it's completely clear by clicking the settings if we switch to basic window from here and changing the wall opening opening type and angle to fixed fixed glass and after that in the description under the u value if we just type in here brick transfer you will see that our window will broken 
very interesting. As you can see, we can place a broken window in ArchiCAD. But don't worry, it's just an easter egg. If this happened in real life, we'll definitely be saying the developers should be a bit more careful. Anyway, next one is something very small. I will show you a very small car in ArchiCAD. Let's go to Object, go to Settings and we will go to Vehicles. Under the visualization, people and vehicles. And we will go to this micro car. Let's place it. And we will duplicate to right. And this time we will go to custom settings under the description. Um, accessories. We will just type in monster truck wheels and you will see our monster truck appear if you have too much landscaping around your buildings no problem you can use this car and as for the final i will show you a pirate ship how to place a pirate ship in architect we will place a very simple boat and you can see this flag under the settings we can change the flag country to jolly roger and that's it now this is a pirate ship now your b model is now officially under pirate rule time to plunder some property lines and these were the easter eggs in architect thank you for watching until the next video have a nice day bye